A string of home invasions left frightened families wondering if they would be next. But an undercover investigation and the arrest of several teenagers may help calm their fears. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville is live tonight in Warren. Aaron, what do you know? Stephen and Carolyn, the mayor tells me tonight as soon as he heard about these home invasions, he got special ops involved right away. Tonight, the investigation continues as neighbors tell their stories. They're breaking into people's homes, putting lives in jeopardy. Um, one woman, they broke into her house. She was asleep on a couch. She's afraid to move because if they discovered her, they might kill her. Home surveillance video shows an undercover investigation underway. Officers rolling up on a house on Numer Street in Warren last week. About a minute later, a shirtless teenager comes sprinting by, running from a nearby backyard. Debbie Angus, one of several victims of home invasions during the last month in the surrounding area, she offers her solution. Get a job and get a life. I mean, go flip burgers for eight, ten dollars an hour. I mean, there's jobs out there. We're told a group of teenagers had been terrorizing an area near Eight Mile and Shaner, breaking into homes, stealing everything from computers to jewelry to also tools, anything they could grab. At least four teenagers have now been arrested, but officers continue to work the streets. This neighborhood backs up to Detroit. And everybody is wary of what's been going on in this neighborhood, and they're tired of their things being taken. There's an electrical contractor who lives across the street from me. They cleaned his truck out, put him out of business. We're told some stolen property was recovered. The mayor tells me he takes the crime in Warren very seriously. He says if you have any problems, any issues, call him directly. For now, we are live in Warren, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News.